Hi, my name is Mark Lever and today I'm going to be talking about work that my colleagues and I recently published in the journal Biology Open. I'm interested in the genetics of how organisms adapt to higher temperatures. And I've chosen to study this in the nematode Pristionchus pacificus for three reasons. It's cold-blooded, it's great for genetics, and we have a collection of strains from all over the world. We started by looking for two strains that respond differently to temperature and found one from California and another from Japan. When we grow these strains in the lab at a normal temperature, the worms go through their life cycle. However, if we grow the California strain at 30 degrees, the next generation is infertile. But at the same temperature, the Japanese strain remains fertile indefinitely. Looking in more detail, we measured the total number of offspring over a range of temperatures. The strain from California does better at lower temperatures, but the strain from Japan does much better at higher temperatures. This is just like what we see for two other species of nematode. To test if this had a genetic cause, we mated the two strains. When we do this, the offspring are fertile at 30 degrees, just like the Japanese strain. And in the second generation, the phenotype segregates so that the worms are either like the Japanese strain or like the California strain. This shows us that the phenotype is dominant and segregates according to the laws of Mendel. This means that there is likely to be one gene or a cluster of genes that controls fertility at 30 degrees and that this gene is different in the two strains. We are now currently working hard to identify what the gene is. Thanks for watching.